Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are doing okay. We have finished test launch as the first to do that. We finished the artificial satellite as the first to do that. We are working on Animal in Space. The others haven't even researched that yet. Uh, they haven't researched satellite imaging yet either. Uh, I guess they're working on lunar orbit. They haven't researched that either. So yeah, we, we're looking good. We just researched our spacecraft assembly facility, which we will get building. Let's see, minus 2% vehicle build cost plus 1% payload reliability. Over here we get plus 1% payload reliability minus 3% payload build cost. Hmm. Here we get... Minus two cost, minus two time. Here we get minus two cost and minus three cost. I think we're going to build it here. It fits there too, so not that many buildings fit in there because there aren't that many buildings that are that small. All right, next research. What are we going to research? Um, I think we're going to research mission control. Because that allows us to launch a second in, or have an, a second mission going at the same time. So I think that would be useful to have. All right, we have our payload for the animal in space. Minus 25% vehicle build cost. Not bad. Uh, but also minus 10% payload reliability. That's not great. But the reliability is already 60%. So that's decent. We are going to design a vehicle for this. We don't have that many options. We actually only have one. We have our Jupiter here for the upper stage and we have our Jupiter for the booster. So that's what we are going to do. And uh, we are going to save the design. We're going to rename it, call it uh, Low Earth Orbit Launcher can't do that. All right, Leo launcher then. And save that. And then we can rename it again to uh, Let's call it Carmine uh, because I unfortunately didn't get any suggestions for which type of animal we are sending into space or a name for it i'm recording this on thursday so if you made suggestions after that i do apologize but uh, it is what it is so six months we'll be launching carmine into space and carmine is a kangaroo so carmine will be the first animal in space all right next month and nothing happening this month, so next month. All right, spacecraft assembly facility is complete. Very good. We'll have mission control completed next month. Race to space. The prospect of launching the first human into space is dominating the newspapers. Most have labeled it an impossible endeavor. Will the less skeptical outlets claim a rival agency are bound to get there first? Several have contacted your agency for a statement. Uh, We'll win the race. The race? The race, of course. Of course we'll win the race. Uh, we're definitely entering the race and we're going to win it. All right, budget review. We earn a little more money. Very nice. 102000 a month. Minus our expenses, of course. And mission control research is complete. So we're making 90000 a month now. That's not bad. Let's get this mission control building will take four months to build uh, we have two bonuses here plus one percent launch reliability minus two percent payload build cost what about over here we only have one bonus but it's minus three percent uh, payload build cost i think we'll build it here we do need to clear some obstacles but that's fine, 287,000, we can afford it because of our starting uh, perks. Okay, that's mission control done. Let's... Uh, 
let's get the medium launch pad going. All right. Soviet Union completed artificial satellite. Good job, uh, Soviet Union. No one else is doing animal in space yet. Are they doing lunar orbit? Yeah. China is going to win lunar orbit, it looks like. That's okay, we can't win everything. That's just not possible. All right, Carmine is ready for launch. Uh, let's do launch preparations. There were no effects. We'll do science training because we want science. And the payload reliability is already okay. And let's set a launch date. Oh, man. Uh, well, it is plus 20% science. I don't want to do its launch in a suboptimal window. So we'll go in August. Uh, select date, confirm, and go to the solar system. We don't have our second, uh, no, our second mission yet. Now we do. So now we can start doing request missions, or we could, uh, uh, we can't do lunar orbit because we haven't researched it yet. So let's do a request mission. Which one do we want to do? So this one is publicized. We got uh, pretty good support for it and some science. This one is challenging. We get a little more science, the same support. And this one is just, well, it's just, uh, hmm. I think we're actually going to do the test launch because this is just a sounding rocket. Uh, it'll take two months to build and then it's done. So easy peasy. And we'll get some sciences, science going quick. And here we go. Test launch for the guidance system test. We'll of course do the science and launch date will be August. Confirm. So we're launching Animal Wind Space and the Sounding Rocket next month. Cool. Let's keep going. All right. Animal in Space. We are definitely doing that first unless we blow up on the ramp. And speaking of blowing up on the ramp, I'm just going to put a screenshot on here for right now for <laughs> from my private playthrough. Take a look at the risk of blowing up. I had 1% chance of blowing up during launch, and I blew up during launch. This was a mission uh, to do uh, multi-crewed orbit. So I had two astronauts on board, and I blew up with a 1% chance of blowing up. It freaking happened. So yeah, it can happen. Let's get back to uh, the game that we're playing. All right, uh, let's see. Animal in space, we have 60% payload reliability and 71% launch reliability. We'll make 1,320 science minimum from this mission. Not bad. Uh, then we have the test launch, and here we'll make 263 min uh, science. Uh, so let's, okay, we're doing the test launch first. That's fine. Let's see how the weather is. It's looking okay. Look at that tiny rocket. Uh, Nemesis is going up on August 1959. Okay. Let's see, adequate conditions. We have a 9% chance of a critical failure. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Go, 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 little rocket. Go, 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 go. Don't blow up. 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 It's not going to blow up. Yay. All right. Uh, it wasn't a great launch though, so minus 20% percent 
25% mission reward. That's a little annoying. Our sounding rocket got more reliable. So 100 support and 200 science for a month. Okay. So that guarantees us the medium launch pad next month. Okay. We have the animal in space next. Let's do it. And how's the weather for this one? It doesn't, it's not necessarily the same. Just because it was good weather for the sounding rocket, it doesn't mean that it's good weather for this one. All right, Carmine, are you ready to go to space? I hope you are. All right, good conditions, outstanding. Only a 5% chance of failure. 59% chance of everything being just right. So come on, Carmine, you can do this. Go, Carmine, go. Go, 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 go. We have liftoff. Go. Yeah, get up there, Carmine. You're looking good. You're looking good. Yeah. Very nice. Ooh. Ah, almost. Damn. That would have been nice to get the positive effect. But still, secure launch. Perfect. Our Jupiters get a bit of experience or level up. So they're a little bit more reliable now. All right. Let's see what we got to do here. All right, Carmine, what do we need to do here? So we need to get two and six for the 50% bonus reward, which we of course want. So, where do we start? We start here and here. I think that's a pretty good start. All right, that went fine. That went fine as well. Very good. All right, so we have three of you now. Which means we can do this twice. That gives us more than enough of that, but then we can do this one. And be all good. Confirm. All right. That worked out well. That worked out well too. No need to fix anything yet. All right, so we can do this and we can do this again. And provided we, if we do need to resist, we have one resist that we can do. If we do need to resist twice, I don't think we actually have to resist second time because we just, I think we'll just lose one uh, of these and we have one spare. So confirm. No need to resist on that one. That was almost enough to be a super success. And there we go. No malfunctions at all. That was an incredibly well-run mission. Yeah. First with Animal in Space. So we got 38 extra support. We got 188 support. 263 support and we get 990 science for two months so that's basically 2000 science that we just earned there very nice very nice indeed all right uh, we need to do a request mission again and i think we'll do the ionospheric measurements uh, we'll do gets a little bit more expensive when if we do the increased power so we have some extra power to work with we have two extra power i think that's worth it so let's do that and build that payload i'll take two months we're researching the medium launch pad we could do a second um, you know what let's do it let's do this one as well um, and we'll do the same here, get our extra power. This is challenging, so 
Extra power will definitely be useful. Right, we have two missions going. We have our medium launch pad research complete. Let's build it. Um, let's see, there's minuses there. Okay, so I guess it's going here. It'll cost us 375,000, but it'll reduce the vehicle build time by 2%. Let's do it. Okay, and the next research we'll do is human in space. Yeah. Let's do that. The UFO fever. The discovery of debris likely belonging to a weather balloon has sparked a wave of conspiracy, conspiracy theories surrounding UFOs. Several questionable magazines have approached your agency for comment. Will your researchers urge dismissing such stories? Uh, your PR team has noted the potential for drumming up interest in space exploration. We're going to encourage that speculation. Yeah, man, UFOs are real. Absolutely. Uh, Alright, 100% or 100 support gained. Very nice. Human in space research is complete. Wonderful. We have our payloads ready as well. So that's good. Alright, so we'll design the vehicle for the orbital radio. And let's see, 40 kilos. I think we can do that with the Topaz, yeah. We don't need to use the Jupiters, so... The Topaz and the Emerald, nice, cheap rocket, quite reliable. Let's actually um, call this, uh, let's call it Tiny Nerd. And save that design. Confirm build that vehicle. Four months, it'll be ready. Uh, we have the other one that we need to design the vehicle for as well. We can reuse the tiny nerd for that and confirm. That was a bit more expensive. Not sure why. That'll only take two months. Okay. Now, human in space is done. Let's research the payload as well. Uh, let's see, China achieves moon orbit. The, newspaper, the newspapers are dominated by the recent success of China's lunar orbit mission. Your agency has been approached for comment. Your PR team advised that praising the achievement will improve relations with China, yet may open your, our agency to criticism of falling behind in the space race. Conversely, downplaying the mission may boost public support, but damage relations with China. Well, I don't care about China, so we're going to downplay the achievement. Yeah, yeah. Anyone can do that, China. All right, 100 support for us. So we're up to 1,300. So we're definitely going to go up next time. Because we need 800 and we have 1,301 in order to go up. And we have funding review in two months. All right, Tiny Nerd is... Oh, what's this? Uh, nah, we're not going to pay a hundred grand for that. Uh, reject optimization. Ionospheric, ionospheric measurements vehicle is complete. Uh, plus 10% payload reliability, minus 10% launch reliability. Mm, that sucks. Alright, payload is reliable enough, so we'll go with science, of course, and we'll set a launch date of March. Select date, confirm mission setup, and off we go. All right, Mercury research will be done next month. There we go. And we have the budget review, 663 we went, we got. So we're close to the next tier already. So 128,000 we're now making. Mer Mercury research complete. We're making 105,000 a month. Not bad. All right, so that's the payload. We need the vehicles. Uh, so I think we'll go with the Atlas booster here. It takes three months to build, costs 384,000, and has a capacity of 8,000. Now the Delta takes four months to build. It's a little bit cheaper, but it can only carry 
6,600 kilos. Its reliability is 80%, this reliability is 70. The Ariane is 6,400 kilos capacity, takes three months to build and it's cheap, but it's also unreliable. So we'll go with uh, that booster. Oh wait, we need to research one of these. Um, 50 kilos, 500 kilos. We can already do 500 kilos. 120,000, 48,000. But it's very unreliable. Let's actually do that. Change research to able. Okay. Orbital radio vehicle is complete. Plus 5% payload reliability. Very nice. We will do uh, research, of course, or science, and we'll set a launch date of March as well. Confirm mission setup. I think, I know that you can get these boosts to how much science, so uh, up to 25%, I think it is, uh, the further out you put the launch date. But I think it's more valuable to just get it done, start working on the next project. I think you get more out of that. I'm not sure I'm right, but I think so. All right, next month, medium launch pad is complete. Very nice. Able research is complete. Okay, we have ionospheric measurements ready for launch. And the launch reliability is not great. The payload reliability is pretty good. It's a pretty decent amount of science that we'll get for it. Then we have orbital radio, where the pay payload is pretty good, and the launch is acceptable as well. This is the challenging mission. Oh man, it's raining. I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, tiny nerd, what do you say? Uh, bad conditions. 10% chance of catastrophic failure. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Two. One. Launch. Go, go, go. We have ignition. And we have liftoff. Go, tiny nerd. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, looking good, looking good. You're up there. You are up there. All right, and uh, we do get uh, minus one uh, energy. That, that's okay because we got the um, we got the payload with the extra energy, so that's good. It's good that we did that. All right, let's see. Orbital radio, what do we need to get? Some comms and some data. All right. So five comms, three data. Okay. So I think we'll do the visual data collection and then we'll do ground control connection. Or will we? Actually, let's do data transmission instead and get three of those. All right, the first one went off without a hitch, and so did the second one. All right, so now we have three of those. I think we'll do a one of these, an atmospheric sampling, and then we'll do A recharge. We have three turns remaining. This shouldn't be too hard. All right. Uh, so, all right. Three of those. No problem there. Good. Then we'll take this. And this. That gets us to three of those. Well, then we just need one. Uh, all right, we need to resist here. Let's do it. Oh, we need to resist again. 
All right. So we need to recharge, and then we need to do the signal return test. Hopefully, we don't need to resist that because if we do, we can't. All right, we do not. Accept. That's five. So five and three, fifty percent bonus reward. Very nice. Mission done. So, 282 support, 390 signs for two months. Not bad. Not bad. All right, uh, we have another active mission. So, let's launch you. How's the weather here? It's better. It was raining before, so this has to be an upgrade. Uh, all right, it's the same rocket name. I should have renamed it to Tiny Nerd 2 or something. Uh, let's see, adequate conditions plus one percent. Still ten percent risk of catastrophic failure, but we'll see what happens. Up goes another tiny Tim or tiny nerd. Go go go, tiny nerd! Let's get up there. Do not blow up. Do not blow up. Don't blow up. Thank you. We are gone. All right. And we, wow, actually we get a nice little boost here. Plus 10% payload reliability for the duration of the mission. Not bad, not bad at all. And our rockets parts get a little bit more reliable. So let's see what we need to get here. One and three. So that is one and five that we need to get. Okay. So let's do this again. Ah, right off the bat. And there's only a 15 for the jets of it happening. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Then we'll do this. And this, and that'll actually get us there. So we are getting this well in advance of what we need. We had three turns remaining, and we're already done. Plus 50% bonus reward. Very nice. Two very successful launches in a day. What more can you ask for? So 225 support and 345 for two months. So we are now generating 862 science for the next two months. Not bad. All right, we'll do the Atlas booster. This costs 400, so that'll be done pretty quick. Now, actually, let's take a quick look at our buildings because we, of course, need the astronaut. Uh, Training center. What's, what does that cost? That costs a thousand. You know what? I think we'll get the astronaut training center building. And we have active missions that we can do. So we can actually start planning this. But it will be a while until. We can actually we actually do it okay so we have another test launch for the guidance system we have a dog in space a challenging mission gives us 1376 science though and then we have an orbital chim chimpanzee which is experimental fuel plus 25 percent science reward but minus 25 percent launch reliability hmm Let's do the orbital chimpanzee. And we'll do the expensive payload for the extra power. And we'll build that. And then we'll do another test launch guidance system test with our uh, sounding rocket here. 
and we'll build that. Okay, next month. Signal received. A group of children on the opposite side of the world have managed to pick up radio signals from your recent orbiting satellite as part of the school project. The story has been widely covered in the press. Gained 100 support. Nice. We'll send mission memorabilia, of course we will. It's only 10 grand. Absolutely, you get some mission, mission uh, memorabilia. The agency has sent a collection of memor memorabilia to the school, including miniature model models of the satellite, and thanked the children for their scientific research. Cool. Cool. All right. What is everyone else doing? So we have China, the Soviet Union, and soon NASA uh, with lunar orbit. Over here, satellite imaging. China has researched it, but it's not planned. We are the only one who have researched a human in space yet. So that's all good. Next month. Astronaut trailing facility research complete. Very nice. And the orbital chimpanzee payload is good. Minus 50% boost of build time. Plus 50% boost of build cost. Hmm. That kind of sucks. All right. And the guidance systems test vehicle is complete. So we'll do science. We'll do... June, optimal launch date. Uh, max bonus 50%. We could go over here, but I don't want to wait. Select that date. And a mission training bonus is increased by 100%. I mean, 50% extra science is pretty good, but the science bonus is kind of meh anyway, so... It's not that big a boost, so let's just go in June. Alright, we need to build our astronaut training facility. It'll take five months to build. Where does it fit? It fits nicely right here. It fits very nicely right here for minus or plus three percent reward for missions and plus one percent launch reliability. It's expensive as heck to put it here, though. Here it'll only cost 500k, 300k, and we still get the launch reliability. But I want this. I want the 3% reward for uh, missions. Build it. We'd have to remove it in at some time anyway. All right, so let's set some research. We need vehicles and we need the Atlas booster. And then we have active missions. We have to design a vehicle here. Uh, the Leo launcher can do it. So that's the one that we'll do. And we'll call this uh, Bobo. Uh, Bobo is going into space. The chimpanzee. Four months build time, 229,000. Confirm. Alright, now now we can hire crew. Well, we can when once the it's built, but we have the screen now. So, that's cool. Let's go on to the next month. Atlas research is complete. And we are launching the test launch guidance system. Very good. Uh, launch that mission. 62% launch reliability. Weather is looking decent. Okay. And how are we looking? Adequate conditions, plus 2%. So 9% risk of critical failure. Let's go! Let's go, sounding rocket. Get up there. Okay. Looking good so far. Systems are nominal. Go, 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 sounding rocket. You're up there. 
you are up there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. It wasn't a total success. Minus 20% mission rewards. Dang it. But our sounding rocket just got up to 85% reliability. That's not bad. We got 100 and 220 for one month. Okay. Very good. Let's get something else research. So for the upper stage, I uh, didn't want to click that. I just wanted to see it. 221,000. Build time is four months. The capacity is 1,800 kilos. The mass is 6,400. Uh, this one is two months. It's a little bit more expensive. But it only takes two months to build. It's also less reliable, though. And then there's the star, which has a capacity of 2,000 kilos. It takes three months to build and has a mass of 6,600. But a very low relaunch reliability as well, 55%. Uh, what's your relaunch reliability? I think we'll go with the Ariane. Uh, get the, that short build time. All right, now active missions. Uh, we have a mission slot available now. So we are going to go for human in space. We're gonna start planning that mission. And we are gonna... Hmm. It's quite a lot of extra money. We don't need that extra power on this mission, I don't think. So we will... Uh, Select the standard payload and start building it. That'll take three months. Let's continue on. Ariane 1 research is complete. Very good. Then let's start researching a lunar orbit so that we can start going to the moon. Because that's, of course, a prerequisite to... Uh, landing on the moon all right so human in space payload is complete plus 10 percent payload reliability minus 10 percent launch reliability dang it <sighs> all right bobo bobo is ready for launch plus five percent payload reliability all right let's launch well we need to do the payload or the launch preparations it's a nice science bonus it's a very nice science bonus uh, and we could go out here and get plus 20 percent but again i think just getting it done but it is a high uh because 1630 plus 20 percent on top of that that's that's quite a lot of science. That's quite a lot of science. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, so... Hmm. The launch reliability is really low. Let's just get it done. Confirm mission setup. Okay, and for the human in space, we need to start designing our vehicle. Design a new vehicle. We need to use the Ariane 1. That'll take two months to build. And then we need to use the Atlas because that's the only parts that we have. And that's five months build time, 580,000. We just have the money for it. So let's confirm and build our vehicle. All right. Astronaut training facility is complete. Very good. All right. Let's launch our orbital chimpanzee. This scares the crap out of me. Uh, but... Hopefully it's excellent conditions or perfect conditions or something like that so that we get a little boost from from that. Let's see how it looks. 
It's a good looking rocket. I like it. Alright. Adequate conditions. Plus four percent. Twelve percent chance of going boom. Twelve percent chance of going boom. Go chimpanzee! Go bobo! Alright. We have lift off. Near the tower. Going through max Q, I guess, and then we are in space. Outstanding. Good job, Bobo. And we do get minus one command on the first turn of first task. Okay. Our rocket parts get a little bit more reliable. And let's see. Orbital chimpanzee. This was, no, this wasn't challenging. This was the experimental fuel, so it's all good. Uh, let's do, we need three and five for the bonus. So let's do, oh, I only get one command. All right, I guess we'll be doing that then. We'll need to assist, that's good. But then we can do this and this. So let's do that. Uh, I have to assist this one. Dang it. Ooh, but a bonus there. Okay. Very nice. So we now have four of those, which means that we can do this. And that gets us there. Just do the atmospheric sampling. And we have, we have it. So guaranteed 50% bonus reward on a lucrative science mission or a science lucrative mission so that's nice all done and 225 support 1100 science for two months not a bad result if i do say so myself very nice okay What's next? Uh, did we research the lunar orbit yet? No. Uh, we are working on it, right? Yeah, we're working on the payload. The payload will be done next month. Let's just see. Are there any lucrative contracts? No. So there, there are contracts that are lucrative that just pay straight, uh, fat out money. And I would love to do that. Complete three milestone missions. Haven't we already done that? One, two, three? I guess the test launch doesn't count or something. Hmm. All right. Um, I think we'll wait a month and then we'll start on our lunar vehicle. Open skies debate. A global symposium is taking place to establish laws regarding territorial space for orbiting satellites. The proposed treaty states that all nations should have free access to space. Your advisors believe supporting the treaty will improve diplomatic relations with the other space agencies, though opposing it may be proved popular with sections of our media. Well, I don't care about the other space agencies. We're going solo, so oppose the treaty. 100 support. We lost some reputation with the others. Don't care. Pioneer research is complete. A small probe carrying scientific instruments and radio transmitters, transmitters protected by a painted fiberglass shell. Okay. Cool. But this is where we're going to end it for this time, guys. We are three months away from the cumbersome being complete. So that we can go into... Uh, get a human into space. We are ready to start planning our lunar orbit mission. So all is good. All is good. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.